Will a real estate license help you when wholesaling real estate? On this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we're talking about will a real estate license help you wholesaling real estate? We have a lot of questions when we go to these networking events for the investor clubs where they always ask, is it beneficial to have a license when wholesaling real estate? And first I like to go back to the law. The law states that if you practice real estate without a license, it is a third degree felony here in the state of Florida. So you have to ask yourself a question. Are you violating the real estate law here in South Florida and do you need a real estate license to conduct business? So the first thing I want to tell you is how do you know if you need a real estate license or not when you're getting involved in real estate? Well, the first question is, are you putting a buyer and a seller together and getting paid a fee in order to close the real estate transaction? If the answer to that question is yes, you probably need a real estate license. Are you showing property for someone? You probably need a real estate license. You have to ask yourself, what are you doing when it comes to the real estate business and how do you get around having a license versus not having a license? So what I wanna tell you is a lot of successful investors have a real estate license. There are many, many reasons why. One of the big reasons is that sometimes there's a deal that you get to list and get a commission on. Maybe it's a short sale that you're buying and, and you put yourself on because there's no other agent. You put yourself on as the buyer's agent and the bank will pay you a 3% real estate commission and then you would buy the property. The one thing I want you to always ask yourself is do you have a vested interest, a beneficial interest in the property? That is why a lot of investors use the Florida Land Trust because it makes the ease of partnering in real estate uh, when you're dealing with the land trust. But if your name is not on the contract, if your name is not listed as one of the owners of the company buying, if there's an LLC or a corporation buying, and you are not one of the managing members or shareholders of that company, and if you're using a land trust, if you are not one of the beneficiaries of the real estate uh, land trust contract, then you are probably violating the license law if you do not hold a license here in the state of Florida. So it's very important. Do you want to commit a third degree felony? I don't think so. So you really want to know for a small amount of money, you can go right down the street here to Gold Coast School of Real Estate. They're fantastic. And you can get your real estate license. And then you can put your license with one of the 100% companies that give you all of your commission. And they take a very small administrative fee per closing, uh, sometimes a monthly fee. But you really need to be careful because there are a lot of wholesalers that are wholesaling real estate without a license and they will get in trouble. They're taking these investors lists and they're trying to sell a property to one of their buyers that someone else has under contract and you are violating the law. You are causing yourself to commit a third degree felony and you will get in trouble. I can show you names of investors that have been part of investigations with the DBPR, which is uh, the Division of Real Estate, and I can show you their names on there that they have been part of these investigations and basically the end solution is they had to obtain their real estate license from Gold, uh, Gold Coast School of Real Estate. So it's very important to make sure you're protecting your assets. If you're getting involved in real estate, you need to ask yourself, do you have a vested interest? Do you not have a vested interest in the transaction? And do I need a real estate license or do I not need a real estate license? So I hope as always, give me a thumbs up. You learned something very new today that you didn't know as to whether you need a real estate license or not when you're wholesaling real estate. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something new. Maybe give me a comment or a like or a share on social media. If we do not know that you're watching, we have no way to tell if our videos are working. We just keep producing them every week and as long as we get the views. But I'd like to see your comments, maybe topics that you'd like to see. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher signing off and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.